Well, hi guys. I'm uh, here recording another video. Now, uh, as some of you may have already guessed, um, I am trying to learn how to do videos well. I'm kind of trying to learn some of the techniques, and I've got a few ideas for projects planned. But right now, I'm just trying to get more comfortable in front of the camera. Hope you'll excuse my voice. I've kind of got a cold. Um, so in the interest of <coughs> YouTube helpfulness, I thought I would do an unboxing um, of a cheap microphone I just got because everything I've uh, read on YouTube seems to indicate that um, video, like half of your video is audio, and I've been struggling trying to get the audio right, okay? Um, I've started with <coughs> trying different microphones with this little microtrack recorder that I'm borrowing. Uh, which seems to work pretty well, but I can't get my levels right because I don't think I'm using the right microphone. Um, I've got, I picked up this uh, cardioid mic from Radio Shack here. Um, it works well, the sound is great, but I can't be more than six to eight inches from the thing before I start to drop off. So that doesn't work because I don't want to have the microphone in the camera, uh, in the camera shot. <clears throat> Next thing I tried was a lavalier mic, like a lapel mic, um, but I didn't really want to spend a lot of money because it's YouTube, right? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and the thing didn't give the, quite the right sound. So what I did is I looked online on eBay for cheap shotgun microphones, and what I ended up seeing was an awful lot of uh, microphones from China, okay, uh, for, you know, $20 or less. So what I did is I on a lark, it wasn't a lot of money to lose, so I decided to order one so I could try it out with these videos. Um, so then here it is, it just arrived today. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to unbox it. I don't really know that much about video or audio, I'm still learning, and this may have been a waste of money, it may not have been, but I figured if there's anybody else out there who is looking at these things on eBay to try them out, what the hell, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. So here it is, just got it today. Uh, it took uh, a week or so to come back from customs to get out of to get from China to here to get out of customs and then it just arrived US postal mail today from the from the uh Hualabao warehouse building in new Songping Shan. I shit you not. <laughs> um took about uh, a week and maybe a day or two. So and that was for the second day shipping too, so I cleared customs a couple days ago and I got it today. So here is what is in the box. This is an HTDZ brand super unidirectional electret condenser microphone. Now my understanding is that with a condenser microphone uh, you need to supply power to it and my understanding is that you can either battery these things like there's a you can put a battery inside or they can be powered via shadow power uh, with your recording device and you see this one they're phantom power and this item does include phantom power so I'm gonna try that and see how it works see what it does you know um, I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time goofing around with it so let's open it up the thing that surprised me now I paid fifteen dollars for this and um, first off it comes in a, in a case I expected it to be just a cheap cardboard box but it does come in a in a black case, um, padded, you know, so I can probably travel around. It feels pretty cheap. It feels like this thing would fall apart after, you know, not very long. So I'm probably going to ditch the case and get a box for it. So what it comes with first is uh, takeout menu. I don't know. Um, probably the same thing, you know. Oh specification and character uh, this is just basically specifications condenser mic uni ultra directional frequency frequency responses 100 to 16,000 Hertz output is a uh, thousand ohms at short distance 2.3 thousand or long distance it needs uh, one and a half volt DC so a battery you know a triple A battery double A battery uh, we're 45 decibels for short distance, 38 decibels for long distance. Tells me, tells me how to load the whatever. You know, jibba jabba. We don't care about that. Whoops, sorry, I jostled you there. So here is what looks like a little windscreen, kind of your average looking 
your average looking, you know, boom mic, windscreen. Looks like a, uh, a holder for the thing. Let's move this out of the shot because you can't really see what I'm doing here. Looks like a, uh, a holder for the thing with a standard threaded end. So, you know, I could take something like this. I use this when I'm using my microphone for gaming and just thread that onto the top and and then I can thread. I've got a base over here. A nice heavy base. This uh, Radio Shack for something like that, but the idea. But the uh, gooseneck didn't come with the thing, so I'm just going to take that and get get it the hell out of the shot. How does that sound, guys? Uh, let's see. Next we have what looks like a cable. Um, Yeah, it looks like um, XLR on one end, quarter inch on the other, uh, with an eighth adapter there. Um, the XLR feels a little cheap, but no cheaper than the Radio Shack cable that I'm already using. So, um, there. You know, it's not so bad. It's nice that they included the cable for 15 bucks. You know, this is a cheap cable, you know, high grade, low noise. I'd say that's about what, that's what a, maybe a... 12, 12 gauge, 14 gauge. It's kind of a cheap feeling cable, but for 15 bucks, what the hell, right? You know, that's our mantra is it's only YouTube. So whatever. We'll try it out though. Here. Uh, what else we got? We have hot shoe for my camera there. It's just another mount that fits into the camera's shoe. So you can mount it right to your camera. Now, one of the things to be clear on is um, I only have my camera is a Sony D8 uh, DCH R38, um, which does not have a microphone input um, or a shoe. So uh, there's a little bracket I can get to attach to the camera uh, that I can put this on. So that's probably how I'm going to do it. Um, or I'm going to try it just you know sitting on my desk. So, you know, that's that's how we're going to test it later. I'm going to put an audio sample with this thing. Let's put that over there. And uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have a microphone. Look at that. Uh, it feels, of course, for 15 bucks, what do you expect? It feels a little bit cheap. Um, it's a big black tube. It's Harry Potter's wand. You know, it's let's open that up. That's where my battery goes. I don't. I. Uh, it, they did not seem to include a battery, so. I'm going to find one right now. Okay. Got a battery, my good old Kirkland battery. Okay, well, put the windscreen on. How does that look any more like a mic? Kinda. Okay, so we'll put that down. <coughs> no reason we can't test it with my micro recorder. Um, just to see what the levels look like. I know that was the problem I had before was everything looked fine. I'm going to get this case out of the way because it's washing out the product. Hold on. One of the reasons I've been using this is because uh, this will give you a level output on this screen um, and I can adjust it up and down here. I'm still kind of figuring out the right way to use it, but in the meantime, what it gets us is uh, is the, the, the levels. So I can kind of just sit there and hold it back and see what the levels look like. So okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm recording simultaneously with the new shotgun mic and the on-camera audio. Um, a couple of quick tests uh, showed that the mic doesn't have great sound quality and it kind of missed a little bit. 
and it kind of picked up some of the room sounds a little bit and I don't think that it's supposed to but you know it's 15 bucks so what I'm doing this is the on-camera audio that you're doing and now I'm gonna switch over to the uh, to the mic audio right now so now I'm on the mic on the boot on the shotgun mic um, like I said, I think there's some room sounds there, um, and I, of course, I'm recording in my uh, my computer room here, which has, you know, uh, it's just a room. It's not there's no sound deadening, you know, anything in here, Liz. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the camera audio. There you go. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, hopefully, the on-camera audio is better. And if it is, um, you know, whatever, it'll be fine.